So financial freedom's the goal. We need to get that through multiple passive income streams, but how much land do we have to own and sell on seller financing to achieve financial freedom? Well, what's good? It's Michael Alder here from takingactiontoday.com. And before I break down the content piece of this video, remember to check the links in the description directly below. I have everything down there you need that'll help you on your journey of financial freedom. But let's dive into this here. You stumbled upon this video. You like the land niche. You want to at least add it to your portfolio of income streams. But how much do you have to own to become financially free? Now, everybody's finances are on a different level. But let's just do a roundabout way that everybody has two car payments. So you got $800 collectively in car payments on average. You have rent that's going to be two grand a month on average. So we're at 2800 and then you got your phone, insurance, food, blah, 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 all that stuff. Let's just say it costs you $5,000 a month just to get by and cover the nut in the game of life. So how much land do you have to buy for that? And be sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to break it down one better for you on this. But how much land do you need? Well, to get $5,000 a month on average, you're going to want to own about 100 parcels, 100 tiny parcels, and sell these at $50 a month. Now, when you're 100% performing, that's gonna go ahead and give you the five grand you're after. But how much does it cost to buy 100 parcels? Well, figure, let's do averages again. On average, you could get these off-the-grid parcels for about $500 a piece, so it's going to cost you a $50,000 investment over time to go ahead and build out a portfolio of 100 fully performing properties. Now, of course, there's going to be properties that go into default. You're going to be taking some back, and they're going to cycle through. You're probably going to be at about an 80% performance rate overall. Now, before you get discouraged and start thinking about, well, what am I going to do next? I want you to think about this, and this is what I've been doing over the past few years. I think about what is the smallest bill in my pipeline, whether it's a phone bill, insurance bill, my weekly food bill, and what can I do to generate the income stream to go ahead and pay for that? And then I go ahead and build that out, and once it's covered, okay, what's the next one on my list? And then I start building an income stream to cover that. Now, the reason we start with our smallest bill is because that win feels so good when you pull it off. So just to give you an example, I have two car payments. Each one is about $400 a month. So collectively $800 a month I spend in cars. And to have those paid for, I have a Google AdSense account where I create content. And then from the AdSense revenue, that pays for my two cars. Now, if I was to stop creating content right now, that income would probably continue to come in for at least two more years. So I could sit back for two years and know that my cars are paid for. But why stop there? We like to double down on things and build them out from there so you could say all right so i got both my cars paid for through adsense now i need to get my 300 dollar a month phone bill paid so that's going to be one two three four five six properties which is going to be a three thousand dollar investment and then we're going to go ahead and resell each of those for fifty dollars a month you know how to do this we're just taking pen to paper and building out assets that are going to throw off passive income to go ahead and pay off our monthly expenses for us so we could buy more time generate more money and have more freedom to do what we want with we who we want whenever we want you know the deal here so that's what i have for this video here figure out what your smallest bill is and let's build out a strategy to get an asset whether it's content creation land affiliate marketing whatever the case is that that content piece or that strategy investment will go ahead and pay for that and once we've achieved that let's move on to the next it's all baby steps everybody wants to go from zero to a thousand Let's go from zero to 100, and then from 100 to 250, 250 to 500, and continue scaling from there. So, as I said, resources can be found directly below this video, whether you're a complete newbie or if you're just looking for some new strategies, there's something down there for you. Drop by takingactiontoday.com to get that passive income blueprint. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.